Well, welcome along to home. Not quite home as normal for Glasgow City. They are on their travels, albeit a home game for this midweek. They have went to the Falkirk Stadium for this encounter up against Hart. It's top against bottom in SWPL 1. Not too many changes for Glasgow City after the stuffy, stubborn 0-0 draw against Hibs, which they just couldn't break down. Leanne Ross takes over the captain's armband and is back in the fall tonight. And good to see Neve Farley back involved too. She starts our first game since the very first match since the restart where she scored against Celtic. For Hearts, Mario Keeney is veteran of this game now. She's captain of her side who have picked up a bit of form. Decent result a couple of weeks back about four for a bit, then lost to Motherwell at home at the weekend. But they do have one or two players that can cause problems, likes of Leah Tweedy, the former Hibs player. A couple of goals she's scored in there. Colin White is your referee. Must learn to want to do look. Reason past Kane, Shinshia. Mullen making an advancing run. Three in orange waiting. There's Lauder, 1 0. There has been one way traffic and eight minutes on the clock. It's Glasgow City with the lead to blow off the goal drought from Sunday. Well, it was great play. And she is spotting the fast run down the channel. And Mullen's ball across for the opening goal. Hard to think it was our first goal of the season. Shinji <laughs> picking up from Mullen's pass and having to wriggle away, but Carl's have done well to Harry. There's Van Vyck. Love. Space for Lauder. Oh, lovely play. Haley Lauder, great skill. It's brilliant, but it's just over from Haley Lauder for her second of the game and City second. There's options, clearing the point out wide with a pass, but back to herself with that trickery that we've seen down the years. Not quite on target. Davidson making an row as Lauder again. Full to do, Lou. Great play. Off the post and away, I think. Crucial fingertips from the goalkeeper. To deny the second. What a cutting passing through it was. Ball it was superb, but fingertips post rolled and cleared. Lost this time to take the corner. Up towards Clark. Good header and it's a good save. Over the top of the bar. And Parker Smith had a few decent saves last month in Edinburgh when these two played. Well met there. Davidson. Good play to find Love. Back to Davidson. Oh, it's a good little try into the side netting thought. That's good sweeping play. Love and Davidson. Ross. To do it's a good ball and it's a fantastic run. Big chance here for number two. Near post saved. Can't you get in the rebound? No, it's met by Hunter and cleared. It was a fantastic ball through and went for that near post. And the keeper was and it was met and gets couldn't quite scoop up the rebound. McIntosh then to deliver up towards McAllister. It's goal! And I'm not sure who got the final touch in there. It may well be Caney. And unbelievably, Hearts have equalised early in the second half. Header down from McAllister. Trickle through, I think Caney got the little touch and help it through. Here's Ross getting it back from Love. Farley, flags, stays down, it's onside. That's by Cowan. Finally, he needs some help. There's Joe Love, there's Parker Smith, though, can meet it. Great space found 
for Joe Love from uh, Farley's pass but there was the Hearts goalkeeper good play from Davidson it's, oh it's whistled all the way across it's kept him by Shinshia Lauder Shinshia again Ball was coming in Clark got time there for Farrelly oh it comes on the there's Love there what's she taken out by the goalkeeper who was trying to get in there Flatten was Love ref says play on Shinshia's there and Turner is still in play Farrelly wins it back though Here's Van Vyke. Play continues. Now Ross trying to get back on the pitch. Mullen. Van Vyke to Bass. It's Van Vyke! It's a cracking strike from Janine Van Vyke to take the lead. That bit of magic that was needed for Glasgow City, they have found it. Janine Van Vyke only seems to score crackers. Well, it fell to a, a lot of space. And one or two efforts from range from players tonight. I mean, a bit snatchy for Glasgow City. But Van Vyke looked up and bang for 2 1 in the 58th minute. Van Vyke, it's another blast and pass which is brilliantly controlled by Mullen. Sinchia, love. Oh, Marlon looking at the slide, but finds Lauder. Over again, off Delworth. Shinshia. Looking up. Shinshia, it's a fantastic save. To deny the third goal. Oh, a couple of sight on Shinshia from that kind of range this time. Really much on target, but that was a very much a superb hand out from Parker Smith. The four minutes on what's the clock? It's Ross's corner. There's Clark, and it's clambering off the line. Clark around again, and there's Farley. Second game, albeit quite a big gap apart, and two goals for Nee Farley. And rotten luck with injury in between our first appearance against Celtic in April. But the scramble just wasn't clear by Hearts, and there's a cushion and a settler for Glasgow City. Clark's initial header glanced on. It was kind of clear of the line and just wasn't cleared further from Hartsey's danger. And there was the Irish player. Ojek here for Lauder. Three legs of Sanchia for Mullen. Sanchia. Well for Van Vyck. Oh, thinking about it. Thinking about it, and a half. There is Davidson across, yeah. and it's helped in. Aoife Colville on the line. I think Hurst is the final touch, and City now have four with ten minutes to play. Well, Janine Van Dijk nearly scored herself a second beauty of the game. But there was Davidson to head it. I'm sure towards the goal, but it was helped in anyway. And Aoife Colville. And Aoife Colville. Now goal scorer with our eighth of the season. Chinchilla with this corner. Falls to Forsyth in the edge of the box. And back by City and Chinchilla on the other side here. Running to keep this in play. Lauder, shadowed by Delworth, Wojcik, full ten, and into the hands of Parker Smith, it has scored it early in the season, the Mali Fulton against Hearts. And there's the final whistle at the Falkirk Stadium, and uh, it's been home away from home for Glasgow City this evening, and at times a little bit tricky to put hearts away 
Only 1-0 at the break, despite a few good chances, but Hill Honor did score in the ninth minute. There was a shock to the Sydney system and a good bit of play which seen Mario Keeney look like getting the final touch as Hearts of the corner a couple of minutes into the second half, but then they found the key goals the City. Janine Van Vyke with an absolutely sensational strike for 2-1. Neve Farrelly, our second game of the club, our first coming, uh, the first game back in the restart, and she's now scored two goals in two games. And then Aoife Caldwell looked like getting a, a toe on the line after a long-range strike from Van Vyck, which is helped, that's made by Davidson, and Caldwell's there. 4-1, the final score. Sitting now with 2,998 historical goals, so a couple of goals to reach the 3,000 mark. There's two big games left. Of course, the title is still very much in the points to get that for 14 in a row, but also Champions League football could be secured on Sunday. It's away to Spartans City's next game, another game which Spartans have been a decent side this season and have caused problems. But final score here, Glasgow City 4, Hearts 1.